I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone. So, I was having issues with the internet last week, hence my complete failure to upload except I think the one day but anyway I was supposed to upload Saturday my TBR for project TBR which is taking place this week something that I saw Benjamin of Tomes announce and I really wanted to get on that just to kind of you know go through the TBR of this month and maybe add or tackle on another book or two so that's the first thing I'm going to talk about is my TBR. My TBR for Project TBR, which took, it started yesterday, Monday, today's Tuesday, and it ends on Sunday, so it's the 16th to the 22nd. One of them was read a book that's over 500 pages. I'm going to attempt to read City of Heavenly Fire this week. This is probably going to be the next book I pick up, and it was already on my February TBR, so it works out great. The one, uh, one, a book that is, has green on the cover and is under 200 pages. This is 213, but I am already, I started reading this on Monday. I'm already to 144 pages in. I will finish this as soon as I find time to finish it today. But, oh, it's so beautiful. I kind of like the movie a little bit more because it's very, very good adaption, I think. But anyway, this was book number two which counts for two books. One of them was a sequel to a book and I just decided to add to my TBR uh, the next book in the Vampire Diaries series which is The Hunters Volume 1 Phantom. I may or may not pick this up but they're really short reads. I was like yeah I have three books there I need to read them. So why not just go ahead and try continuing on. And the last one that, you know, if I decide not to read any of the other two, I will finish War of the Witches by Maitha Kedansa, or I'll pick up Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. So that is my Project TBR. TBR. Um, another thing I want to do is I have a miniature teeny tiny haul that consists of two books. So let me show them to you. The first one, I am just so excited I got it. If you guys follow me... Ugh, I have two Instagrams. I have like my personal account. Whatever. I went to the dollar store to get ribbon and I decided to go past by their book section and I found one that I've actually been really dying to read since I saw the movie and that is Horns by Joe Hill. For a dollar. First edition too. So I am so stoked to eventually pick this puppy up. Super, super nice. And then I went, went to my, I went with my friend to Goodwill because that's just what I do. You know, I love Goodwill. And I found a book that I've been actually eyeing for a while on like Amazon. I hear people talk about it. I believe it's fun to see. But anyway, I just, it, it, it appealed to me and I found it. And it is Grave Mercy by Robin LaFevers. Uh, I don't know. I saw it and I got really lucky. It was only 81 cents in total and it looks literally brand new. That's a plus. <clears throat> and another thing that I have to show you guys is I have already talked about this. I want to say in my last like, I don't remember what video I did it, but where I was talking about um, wanting to start looking at books that I kind of are am iffy about start reading them and if I don't like them I will you know donate them and if I do like them I'll just keep them for when I do eventually want to read them. Four books here that I kind of peeked through I started reading one once and actually two of these I had attempted to unhaul in the past they were in previous unhaul videos but for some reason I kept them and when I actually really tried reading them I was like I don't like no I just wasn't feeling it. I read about 50 to 100 pages, some of these a little more or less than others because, you know, whatever. The first one I have is Time Weaver by Shana Abe. Um, in the past I said this was a vampire book, but I was incorrect. This is about dragons and people that shapeshift into dragons, but I didn't know this is the last book in a series. And even though it's actually pretty good, it's one of those things where I have series I want to read over this. And if I keep this, I can't read it because it's the fifth and last book in a series. And even when I try to look for the books, it's really hard to find them. So if anything, I would probably just have to like ebook it or whatever. I only spent a dollar on it. I know. But anyway, this isn't about money that you've spent previously. It's whether you like it or not. 
which is a gamble when you buy a book you haven't heard anything about. So I am like legit officially going to donate it this time. I tried and it's actually pretty good, but there's just two other, too many other things and other series that I would just rather pick up before this one. I read this tiny little chicken soup for the dog lover soul. It was super cute. Loved it, but I don't want to keep it. Another one I have here is Richard North Patterson's book, Dark Lady. I tried reading it and I, I don't know. I got like 60 pages in this one. I'm honestly, I can't even tell you how much I got into it, but I just was not feeling it. So I'm definitely unhauling it this time. Second attempt. It's going. This one I've had on my TBR list for about six or seven years. This year will be like six or seven years. It's ridiculous. And that is Wicked by Jer Gregory. I was going to say Jeremy. Gregory Maguire. Um, I tried reading it and it's like whatever. I just wasn't feeling it. So it needs to go. And the last one I have here that I again tried reading is All Aunt Hager's Children. Which is a collection of stories. And it's by Edward P. Jones. It was a finalist for the Penn Faulkner Award. And that's kind of like why I got it. But... It's just not my style of writing or like my style of stories, unfortunately. And the last books I'm going to get rid of, children's books you guys have seen me haul in the past. I have 16 of them, but honestly, they're taking up space. I don't really care for them, so I've just decided to ex nay on the children's books, unless they're like the children's books that I've had since I was a kid or like the poetry book that was just amazing and I loved it. That's different. These are just like whatever and if I want to read some of these I will eventually just go to like Barnes and Noble. They have for really inexpensive like the Barnes and Noble classic edition of like every single one of these books. I could just get those and it's a full story. But a lot of these you know I've already made my list of the ones that I do want to read and I'm not going to show them all to you but it has like Frankenstein, Moby Dick, I have White Fang, the story of Dr. Doolittle, Treasure Island and you know a number of other ones. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and film two book reviews because I really liked both of those books and I do want to talk about them. And another thing that I want to talk about, the reason why I've kind of been slacking on my book channel, and I don't mean to, it's just I've talked in the past about liking how I love to write. Writing is something I've done since I was very 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 young but um it wasn't until recently that I've tried to move out of poetry and short stories and I really want to write my first legit like novel story type thing and I am really trying to get it done I'm actually you know so I'm working on a project so that's where a lot of my time has gone um and I just I'm very bad with managing stuff so I've been like reading and not even all that much like I'm taking a long time so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done for this project TBR thing but I'm still attempting to do it anyway but anyway that's kind of where I'm at that's kind of why I haven't really been on here a whole lot so that's why you're gonna see this exact same face and outfit for two more videos unless I think of something else and then maybe more I don't know I'm sorry but for sure the two videos that I'm gonna film next I need to do those reviews because I just finished one of them and I loved it so much and it's not perks. Um, I might talk about that later. I'm not sure. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and my smorgasbord, you know, my little updates I do sometimes when I go missing. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.